Another one of those classic spring days. We saw just about everything but the leaves fall. That's right, and I do anticipate more chances of snow showers in the forecast. They were kind of wisping around <laughs> today, and not a lot of people like to talk about snow, especially since we're only about a week away from the month of May. Yeah. But warm temperatures on the way. At least that's something to reassure you folks. It's just in time for the weekend as well. The Doppler radar, where are we at this hour? No, not precipitation, at least on this Doppler radar just yet. That will change in the next couple couple of hours. We're waiting our next cold front to push through. Now, as it does, it'll provide us with a slight chance of a rain shower, possibly changing over to snow showers. And you can see that in Wisconsin making its way through Iowa at this hour. It doesn't look like it's much and it really isn't. It's a weak frontal boundary that once it presses on through, it'll give us the chance just for rain showers and because temperatures will be pretty close to the freezing mark, could see a mixture of snow showers in with this as well. We'll continue to watch for you, but the good news is no severe weather threat with this system. How about the almanac for the daytime today? Right around 46 degrees in the capital city, 45 in Jackson, a pair of 34 degree temperatures on the low side in both cities and look at the precipitation just under a quarter of an inch and that's what we expect throughout most of the day. It was going to be light and it wasn't really going to amount to a lot of rain, but take a look at the monthly totals for both Lansing and in Jackson. Now, these are rain totals, mind you, seven and a half inches of rainfall in the capital city. That sets a new monthly record and we're not even done with the month, although most of us shouldn't see any more real rain showers going into next week. May see a slight chance of rain later in the forecast, but at least at the present time, 7.50 inches is a new record of rainfall just in one month. And we've already set uh, numerous records this month for rainfall per day, rainfall for the month. We'll see what other kind of records, and I'll talk about those coming up next week. Take a look at temperatures out there in the upper 30s, near 40 degrees at this hour. But when you factor a 5 to 15 mile per hour wind, it feels like, well, it's like 32 degrees in the capital city. Feels like that to the touch of the skin. 35 in Mason and 34 degrees if you're watching us from the tri state down in Hillsdale at this hour. Across the region we go, just that one frontal bump. Boundary, that's going to be our main factor of focus over the next 24 hours or so. A couple of systems will actually zip by, and I'm going to show it to you right now on the 48 hour future track. The first system, you can see what's left of this front as it makes its way closer. This model just shows a small glob, I guess you can call it, of rain. For us, I think it'll be a slight line of showers, but it's not going to be thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms, anything like that. As it rushes through throughout the morning hours, could mix in with a snow shower. May actually break out into some sun by the middle of the day and late in the daytime as well as the system presses off to our uh, east. But our next system is at play. It's another weak system. It'll transition through our area by midday on Friday. So we'll actually wake up to some sun going into the morning hours Friday. You may not need your umbrella just then, but midday may add in a rain shower. Then the rain's gone again, may break out back out into the sunny skies. Temperatures on Friday will be pushing 60 degrees in some areas closer to home. I believe that'll be the case as well. 48 hour temperature track as we go in time. The morning hours, I agree with this, back into the lower 30s. We'll be back up near 50 degrees or thereabouts throughout the daytime tomorrow. Once we get into Friday, get to talk about 60 degree temperatures as southerly flow is back in place, and that's going to continue into next week. Show that in just a moment, but a 33 degree reading tonight. Still a bit chilly for this time of the year. West northwest winds taking a shift a bit south at about 5 to 15 miles per hour in some areas. Take a look at your 1 800 Hansen's weather kid. Hunter, he's got the right idea. He's bundled up for the morning. You'll have to do so as well. A temperature near 49 is a high temperature, but Look at the rest of the forecast. That's not too bad. 61, 64, 68, 70s Monday and Tuesday. A slight chance of rain showers on Wednesday. Could end in a thunderstorm if we see temperatures near 68 degrees. But not only warm temperatures on the high side, look at the low side. Only one 32 degree reading. The rest 40s and 50s. We're edging towards spring, folks. And this is what a lot of people have been wanting. Something consistent, something slightly warmer. Looking good. Those 1-800 Hansen kids are going to start busting out with the shorts pretty soon. I agree.